Both the brass core and the fully bonded aluminum shell are unstressed at a temperature of 25 degrees Celsius. Considering only axial deformations, what is the stress in the aluminum and what is the stress in the brass when the temperature reaches 205 degrees Celsius? This is the third example for the axial deformation main video. Links to that video and other examples are down below. Because of the temperature increase, you would expect both materials to undergo thermal expansion. However, because of the higher thermal expansion coefficient of the aluminum, you would expect the aluminum to expand more than the brass. But since the shell and the core are fully bonded, the aluminum shell is trying to stretch the brass core and the brass core is holding back the aluminum expansion. The total deformation of the brass, which is the result of the thermal expansion plus the axial loading caused by the interaction force between the aluminum and the brass, because of the bonding, has to be equal to the deformation of the aluminum. Solving for P and substituting the values, we find that the force is close to 19 kN. With the area of the aluminum and the brass, and knowing that the aluminum is being held back by the brass and therefore compressed, and that the brass is being further stretched by the higher thermal expansion of the aluminum, we find the two stresses we were looking for. For more examples, including a Poisson's ratio one, don't forget to check out the links in the description of this video. Thanks for watching.